Hi, and welcome back to Supernatural by Design. On March 1st and 2nd occurs a very rare celestial event between Jupiter and Venus. And recently, I've come to discover that this conjunction is tied to tension between Russia and America. In fact, as tensions mount, we're even told by Jesus himself in Luke chapter 21, verse 25, that there will be signs in the sun and moon and stars coinciding with distress among the nations. In fact, the Greek word that's used for stars can also represent planets. And so with that as our foundation, let us now discuss this conjunction and its relationship between Russia and America first. And then at the conclusion, we'll discuss the significance of this celestial event at the beginning of March. And so with our Russia and America connection, let us backtrack through two videos in order to see how this connects. Very profoundly, I might add. And so if you recall in our Ezekiel 38 eclipse video, this one goes over Russia. We saw using this timeline that the 1025 partial solar eclipse and dubbed the Ezekiel 38 eclipse, get this, but was in conjunction with Venus as well. Isn't that interesting? And pulling up Stellarium, that's exactly what we saw. Now, this is unique for us because Venus is also in conjunction with Jupiter right now. Okay, now, coming back to the timeline, if you notice, all the way to the left is Pluto's return because this entire Ezekiel 38 pattern was founded on that particular celestial sign. And so, diving into that original video, the Pluto's return marking the Shemitah 5782 we saw that this unique celestial sign was tied to America and that it covered a theme of war. In fact, the rise of America through war and the fall of America through war as well. And so Pluto's return is specific to America. However, for all intents and purposes for today's video, let's discuss four details mentioned in that Pluto's return video that will demonstrate the significance behind the Jupiter and Venus conjunction. And so detail one, because Pluto's return landed on a Tuesday, Tuesday is connected to war as that particular day is associated with the planet Mars. Also connected to Mars and our second detail is the month of March as March also derives its name from Mars and again being linked to war. Now for a third detail, because Pluto's return also coincides with the Shemitah cycle, it's interesting to note that Putin was born in 1952, marking the first Shemitah cycle since Israel has been regathered. However, we know that America being tied to the Shemitah cycle in parallel with Pluto's return, marking the downfall of America, that God is going to use Russia to do this as seen in the Amos Code series, Amos 311, which we also saw the same conclusion foreshadowed in the Super Bowl. However, for our fourth detail, pulled from that Pluto's return video and using the connection of the number 11, in fact, very similar to the 11 in Amos 311, the date of Pluto's return demonstrated a palindrome relationship between the date of 2 of 2022, an 11 characteristic of symmetry, but also the date itself mathematically divided by 11. Now, if you're new to this channel and you didn't know, the number 11 can carry symbolic meanings. It's first off, it can carry the meaning of a blessing or it can carry the meaning of judgment. However, one unique aspect that I don't necessarily always highlight, but I need to start doing is the science of 11. You see, the number 11 is a very unique number outside of any other number that you can come across as it's related to the significance of you and I to God and being created in his image. With God being in three parts, the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, we are created in three parts, mind, body, and spirit. Three plus three is why God created man on the sixth day. Not to mention this attribute is even carried through the design of our hands as each symmetrical digit is related to the sum of 11. Not to mention, it also carries a relationship between our physical and spiritual realities through a symmetrical relationship. Actually, this aspect will be the key component in understanding what CERN is doing. And another unique caveat about the number 11, 
a mathematical pattern of fractals through the geometry of squares, like what you see on the right, which is related to Pascal's triangle and the Fibonacci sequence, as the number 11 is the backbone to all numbers and found everywhere in God's creation. And so the number 11 is profound on many levels. And so now when pulling up our conjunction route of Jupiter and Venus and its relationship to America and Russia, the main point of emphasis is the 11 day relationships between these celestial patterns. It's key. It's fundamental as hopefully that math part demonstrated. And so taking that aspect of the number 11 and tying this all together with our Venus and Jupiter conjunction, pulling up this slide, let's analyze this. On the left half is all the information we've been building up with. And on the right half is all the recent new conjunction details. And of course, underscoring it all are these 11 connections. And so on the left half, the Ezekiel 38 eclipse tied to Russia was 245 days from Pluto's return, which is one tie to the Russia America tension. In addition to the fact, both of these celestial events land on Tuesdays. And so there's another war connection there. And so just to reiterate the two connections that are significant here is a 245 days. That's an 11 connection anchored to the date of Pluto's return, which itself is tied to 11 representing the fall of America and that both celestial events land on Tuesdays. And again, of course, calling out the fact that the eclipse is tied to Russia, Pluto's return, America. And so now looking at the right half, our new information tied to the Jupiter Venus conjunction on 228. Putin signed officially into law, the suspension of the start treaty, the last nuclear arms pact with the U S now this occurred on a Tuesday and because it's tied on a Tuesday, it's also related to our other two Tuesday events, which means it's anchored back at Pluto's return as you see on the screen which is 371 days. That's an 11 connection. In addition, 228 is also significant as the conjunction was almost at its point, culminating the month of February, moving us into our war month of March until we get to March 2nd. As it's on March 2nd at 6 a.m. precisely that the official moment of the conjunction occurs. And isn't it fascinating that it itself is 128 days and 11 connection from when Venus was in conjunction with the eclipse. Our Ezekiel 38 Russia eclipse. And so hopefully demonstrated this conjunction is tied to tension between Russia and America to escalate soon. And I would articulate within the month of March, the war month. In addition, we have a series of Tuesday war connections underscoring that and all linked uniquely to the number 11. Now, this is just my perspective and I ask you take all things before the Lord first. However, based on the patterns that we have laid out today in this video, even if war doesn't occur within the month of March, war is certainly on the horizon, which means saints that the war rapture of the body of Christ is very soon. And that is something to hope for. And with that said, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope it's been encouraging. And until next time, continue to seek God with your whole heart as he is faithful to carry us to that glorious day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.